Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Stellaris with me, Lathrix, and of course, welcome instantly to getting the Alien Zoo. Apparently, the crisis is already blessing us. So today, what our main goal is, is just to sort out all of our colonies. Right now, we are losing loads of consumer goods, we are almost about to start losing food again, and honestly, we're not in a good position in terms of alloy production or in terms of science. We're kind of all over the place, and not exactly a powerful empire at the moment. So, I just want all of the colonies to start being more specialised and start giving us more resources. Of course, within the rules of this playthrough, so the amenities still need to be at maximum at all times, if possible. Sometimes events will happen and they will go down for a while, but ultimately, I want to see plus 20% happiness for our glorious rulers. And speaking about rulers, after reading all the comments, it seems very split if we should allow other aliens, other species, to be able to be full citizens. And overall, after reading all the arguments, I think I agree, full citizenship is the way to go. Not only is it much better for the gameplay, it kind of makes sense. If you join, if you join this cult and you manage to get all the way to being a leader or even just being a specialist, it means the rest of the cult has accepted you. You are clearly showing that you are pious towards the way of the endgame crisis. And, to be honest, lots of them will still remain as workers, so I am completely okay with that. And as someone said, all are equal in the apocalypse. Our other goal is to get this lovely construction vessel over here so we can finally start expanding again. Over here is a complete dead end, so I'm just sort of leaving it in this very weird shape. But once we get over here, if we get lucky we'll start getting some good worlds. Now the problem is, lots of our economy will eventually come from trade value. Because we have so many amenities, it means we're always going to have lots and lots of clerks. Clerks give us energy via the power of trade value, but that needs to actually get back to last light, to ash. And that isn't going to work if it's going to go through other empires. Well, it will work, but they have to deal with our piracy. And if they mess up, we lose trade value. Yeah, because these can literally go through other empires, and if they aren't dealing with it, well, that's a problem for us. But at least we're causing problems for them, and that's the just fun. Okay, you are going to be, first of all, a city district, because we want the amenities, but then after that we are transferring into agriculture. Oh, saying that though, we probably want all of these to be agriculture eventually, we can always swap them over later. Lovely, lovely, let's do that twice. More research for us. Oddly enough, I don't trust you guys. Losing consumer goods? Let's make it worse by building more temples. Glory to the endgame crisis, the crisis will provide. It seems like our two parents are angry with each other. Please parents, don't squabble. The Bulwark of Harmony, which is going to be really useful when the endgame crisis occurs. A bonus to ship fire rate when we're within our own territory. Consecrated worlds would be great, but the thing is we're grabbing every single world we can see, so I just think technological ascendancy for our society research in order to grab the Psyker stuff as fast as possible. Yep, that seems reasonable to me. Next up, we're going to do prosperity. I really want the merchants. I also really, really want this. City districts provide an additional clerk job. Excellent! Finally, our neighbours have set up a branch office on Ash. Well, that's lovely. Now, I don't believe I get that energy. I believe that's straight for them. But then as soon as I start System building buildings, complete. like that, we get bonus amenities, for instance, on their very first building. Lovely. Let's just check, though. Yeah, I'm definitely not getting the energy. That's a little bit annoying, but that's fine. I could have chosen better things than just pure amenities right now, but at least that means I'm free to build more normal buildings as, um, as we move on. Now, what I need to do is sell some alloys. Thank you. Because I have more scientists to make. We are kind creatures. Children of Crisis, we have received word of our down supply ship's cargo. We would like to extend our gratitude to you. You are welcome. We are all here to enjoy ourselves until the end, so here's your stuff back, buddy. And thank you very much for the influence. Well, well, well. So, we have found a portal on one of our planets. Intriguing. And which planet is that? Since I wasn't paying any attention whatsoever. Okay. 
So it's on this one here. And that will give us a special job, I believe. There we are. Dimensional portal research for three. Consumer goods, you get 12 physics. Okay, that's pretty darn awesome. Physics are very useful. And we can also probe it, and that will give us an additional benefit from it. You know, sure. Why not? I am Marauder. With how friendly everyone's being, it's almost like everyone's treating us as this neutral entity. We are here simply to preach. We are sharing our resources, our knowledge of everyone, because we have even research grants with everyone. Why would you possibly interfere with us? We're doing nothing wrong. We are the most innocent, lovely, friendly force in the entire galaxy. And you can trust us to be here until the very end, helping you. We have good workers for you. Good lifters, draggers, pullers, cleaners. Healthy, clever. Give us 500 alloys. Hmm. Hmm. You know, that's actually not a terrible deal. That will allow us to have a new building. Sure. But they better be good cleaners. We accept your deal. A pleasure, a joy to deal with the children of crisis. We visit again. Hello, adorable little creatures. You're psionic. Oh, now you I need to make into full citizens. The reason is, if we get a psionic leader in society, I believe that ups the chance of us getting the psychic, um... Watch him, call him, watch him, Bob. The psychic research. If they have that specialization, in addition to that, just being psionic means they get bonuses. Whoa, you are terrible though when it comes to all of that. So you can't do amenities. You're slow breeders. You're fleeting and you're deviant. But you're so adorable. Okay, so you fellows, obviously you're gonna be full citizens. And as soon as we have any genetic research, I am changing you. Lovely. So a new building, obviously what we need right now is just more consumer goods because my lord we have like no consumer goods right now. I know it's a little bit silly. Ooh. High energy dimension. A little bit of research towards, pl uh, towards plasma throwers. Also, portal researchers will give us energy. I've never seen that one before. Well that is a very interesting thing indeed. How much energy? Seven! Not bad, lad. Not bad in the slightest. Now, what I was about to say is, I know it's a bit silly, but I actually want this empire here to expand into here. The reason is, they then become the buffer from the marauders in case these marauders wake up. Yep, we are using everyone else for protection. So, children of crisis, you're running out of consumer goods still. Yes. So what are you building? A temple. And what does a temple use? Consumer goods. Children of crisis... Are you sure your only crisis isn't just the fact you are terrible at management? Yes. I've only just realised as well, these lovely fellows, the Racket, although they produce less amenities, they do produce additional trade value, and they have Tomb World preference. It makes them pretty darn good just working here. Now hopefully in the future they will become researchers, because they do get plus 10% to all research, which is nice. Oh, and they have bonus happiness. Ah, you're a great little species. With all these new species joining us, we have heard of their faith. We have heard of their culture, and we are declaring a new saint. Apparently, one of the caravanners saw the end of times in a dream, and then drew it with crayons onto the wall. We believe him. Well, we have found some pretty monoliths on a planet. Now, here's the thing. This will just give us some research and aid in, well, our research. This will convert more of our people into Xenophiles. And here's the thing. The Xenophile faction not only is one of the happiest factions we have, soon to be even happier, but I'm actually tempted to convert into them. It will increase our trade value, which is going to be a big deal moving on, and it will be really interesting because then we'll be normal spiritualist, authoritarian, Xenophile. And that is very decadent. I believe it's even called um, a decadent empire in some way. I can't remember exactly what it's called. But I know that if you're xenophile authoritarian, it's all about experiencing the galaxy. And that's kind of what we're going with. I'm really tempted by this, but this is going to be in the future anyway. Because right now we have nowhere near enough influence to embrace them. I believe it costs 500. So tell me in the comments. Should we allow our decadence to get in the way of our faith? We will still be faithful, of course. 
but just a little bit less. But on the upside, everyone will really like us. Everyone now has the monoliths, and six populations have become xenophiles. We love others. After all, our preaching is for their own good. Hello there! Praise the divine for this meet- Whoa, we are the exact same! We share the same divine heritage. Where are you? Good, nice and far away though. <laughs> as much as I like you, it's nice to have some space over here. Well, you really like us straight away. It's like, yay! Great, great. Complete. Wow. Because of distance though, we're never going to interact. Yay! All these beautiful new worlds for us. Yes, we were trapped, but thanks to our allies to the south, we are allowed free passage, and now we find more worlds to spread our influence to. Thank you so much. You won't regret this. Glorious influence. Let it continue its calculations. Send the psychers there. It's far away from the home world, so I'm sure our people don't particularly want to go there, and they are um, sedentary after Actually, no, they're not sedentary, but still, they don't want to particularly leave the home world, so send our new species. Allow them to propagate in this sector. Please. This looks like a lovely place for a temple! Now, we've just found a ceramic container just circling a star, but the thing is, if we investigate it, there's a chance we get a lovely, lovely chunk of research speed, which is great! However, obviously, the ceramic thing is from the Divine. There's loads of lovely planets over here. Over here. We'll get them, we will, we will. All the influence. Let's be xenophilic. It's really in this year. A new colony? What should we build? Temples! Beautiful, beautiful temples and clerks for all! In this world, you're either a priest or a clerk. <laughs> They're the only two roles we allow in this world. Galaxy. Empire. The children of Crisis is too weak to survive on its own in this hostile galaxy. Submit and become our vassal. i prepare for what? War? But you like us! Look! You even guaranteed our independence. So no! Construction complete. Oh dear. Oh dear, dear, you know what you need, mate. Come over here, come over here. What you need is something we call in the business a bribe. Huh? Huh? Look! These can be turned into ships. You can shoot things you like to shoot things, don't you, lad? Look at your face, you can tell you do. There we are, some guns, some power. What more could you want? The end times aren't here yet, mate. Hold your guns. We have found, like, nothing from our precursors. I've never been so unlucky with that before. We still have Map of the Stars going, right? Yeah, we do. So what's going on there? Hmm. Since I've never truly looked what the reptilian colony ship looks like, it looks like this. I wonder what that says. Probably just the end is coming. There we are, we're now getting gene mapping, which will increase our population growth speed, but also unlock the other biological researches, which means we can start genetically modifying our people to be happier. <laughs> it's like I tried to save that and made it sound less evil, but it became across so disingenuously. Anomaly to make them happier! <laughs> yeah, that's what's happening! Oh, look at all this free space! Look at all these worlds! It's just beautiful! And you thought you could contain the children of Crisis. Our word will spread. The impossible organism. Now, I believe this ends up with the fungal species, which breed like wildfire. Situation yes. Yes, yes, yes. All are equal. In the eyes of the end of the galaxy. We all burn together. We burn gloriously. So, we found the Stellar Devourer. Um, can I actually see it, maybe? There it is. 
Our science ship is oh. <laughs> well, it was there for a moment anyway. <laughs> An urgent missive from the planet explains a number of now former members of the Valon, which I believe is one of the caravanners, seek political asylum on the planet. Um. Yeah, sure. Well, one. Hey there. Quick learners and resilient. Sure. Sure. Why not? On the upside, that should make our xenophiles even happier because now we have. Where are you? Multicultural society. Have at least four unique species within our empire. There we go. Even more happiness, even more influence. Studies of the mysterious life form are progressing well. The scientific community is amazed by the potential for growth. It is already visible to the naked eye and responds to stimuli, and appears able to absorb energy and nutrition from nearly anything, organic or not. Alas, its genetic, cellular, and biochemical processes remain beyond our understanding. Well, of course, we will continue to research this. The new colony is created, and most importantly, once I grab this, there we are, we have a new governor who isn't one of the original species. Once again, all are equal in the eyes of the apocalypse. After recent breakthroughs, the strange life form is no longer a complete mystery. The scientific community on Ash are abuzz with the news. The organism has been classified as a fungoid, partially explaining its ability to absorb molecules for nutrition. It has grown immensely, now the size of a newborn child of chaos. Sorry, crisis, I renamed them eventually. And appears both inquisitive and intelligent. Thankfully, it has thus far shown no signs of aggression. The scientists believe the next step to be attempts at communication. Let's do that. Well, here we are, the fungoid species is now finished, and, well, it's kind of amazing. Plus 50% habitability, plus 15% growth speed. These are a really, really good species, especially once we can start um, changing their genes. They also have leader experience gain plus. The problem is, they all just landed on the same planet, and now, well, there's sort of a problem here. So, what I'm going to do, first of all, let's build ourselves a new city district to get all the housing sorted. Then, how are we going to do this? We could make our very first research world, but the thing is, we could also just build some civilian industries and, tur and turn this into our very first consumer goods world instead. <clears throat> Apparently I'm coughing a lot here, so let's just do this for now. Then we'll see. Prosperity is now finished. Fantastic. So, what I think I'm going to do now is just wait until we can grab where are you mind over matter situation log okay. is now the birth of the galactic market and of course we want that to be on our own planet oh weak we might need to upgrade it then a few times which is going to cost a small fortune ah yet we don't have enough influence or energy for that so yeah where's the improved one there it is yet we definitely don't so Probably not going to happen, but it's best we put it there anyway. Okay, this urban world here will now be converted into our very first science world. At last, we'll start making some proper progress with our research. In fact, so much so, I'm also going to convert the civilian industries into more research labs. This is, of course, on the planet, which is giving us plus 25% bonus to our society research. Research, research, research. Our first psionic leader. Lovely. Well, apparently our neighbours have one of the artefacts we're after. Thank you. Only costs us a thousand energy. Okay, the galactic market has been made. Sadly, not on our own planet, of course. What a waste of energy and influence. Don't know who they are, in fact, to actually lead the uh, market. But still, that's fine. That's fine. Let's build a temple to cheer ourselves up. We would like to coexist in peace. Lovely. So now we get plus 10% society research, and we have a new specialist job, which is the liaison, which will give us plus 3 amenities, plus 5 trade value. We are now researching gene tailoring, and we have the ability Situation to uplift these fellows. But I'm afraid though for now I really am all out of time for today's video. We have started to spread our influence but right now our planets are still giving us very very little. As we get more population and as we increase with our research we should become quite powerful quite quickly especially with so many worlds under our control. It's just going to take a little while that's all. So I am somewhat hopeful about this. 
And I'm glad we have so many good friends. So with that, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's episode, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Stellaris is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you so, so much for watching, and goodbye. In the next episode, we're probably going to build more temples. <laughs>